What's going on, beautiful people? Thank you for tuning in and watching and listening to my rambles and rants. I got another one for you guys here today. Weird shit, bro. Weird shit. Weird shit. Weird shit. As of late, I don't know what to make sense of anything anymore. I mean, I'm having way too many weird things happen. Not that they haven't been happening. They've been happening for the last two years. Hence why this channel was inspired in the first place. But lately, it's just been happening at an accelerated rate. And I, I, I have like, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what's going on. So I had a deja vu moment. And I'll explain to you guys. And then we'll talk maybe about what it could mean. I was sitting there, it was 5 p.m. I was had my meal prepared, right? Because that day I was fasting, I was eating only once a day. And I was sitting there and I had everything around me, the avocados, the blueberries, the sweet potato. And I had my laptop to my right and it had South Park on it, one specific episode. And I was not eating yet, not watching South Park yet, and I had the headphones on me, and I was listening to a lecture by Ram Das. And it occurred to me right there and then. I look around, right? My, ear, my headphones on me, I'm listening to Ram Das. South Park is there. It's loading, like it's, it's, I'm not watching it yet. The food is around me, I'm not eating yet. And a moment of recognition I've been here before. I've been here before. I've experienced this exact same moment before. And I questioned myself and I and I, I got cynical about it. And I was like, no, 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 no. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's just because you know you do this often, like you watch South Park often, you listen to Ramdas lecture, you 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 eat, you eat in this way, you sit here, maybe now your brain is just creating, taking a bunch of things and creating what seems to be a familiar experience because in many ways it is familiar, you do these things regularly. But I was like, no, 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 no. This exact moment, the exact words that are being spoken right now here, that I'm listening to, the lecture, the exact episode, the exact thing, the exact food, this, this moment, I've been here before or I've seen it before. And just for about a minute or so, I was like, <laughs> mind fucked. I was really mind fucked. Like, I was like, yeah, this is, uh, this is deja vu. Like, I fucking, I've been here before. I've been here before. So, I start to go to work in my mind and make up theories about this. So, I was like, hmm, okay. Could it be possible that I've seen this in a dream? Because, you know, dream, the dream state... And the waking consciousness state, to me, in my own version of reality, are just a continuation of the same thing. They're both the dream state, if you will. This is just as much of a dream as when you dream. And I've had, I've talked in this in, in these videos about premonitions that came to be weird dream stories, weird things, right? So it occurred to me, could it be possible that deja vu's when you experience deja vu, and then I did some research on deja vu later on. Apparently, this is one of the most common things human ex humans experience. You know, there's like scientific explanations. Your right brain catches something before your left brain, making you think you've been here before. You know, all these science will always try to come up with an explanation to hide the mis mystery of being alive, right? Or explain the mystery so that it's no longer a mystery. Because we're so scared of uncertainty and mystery, but we don't realize the whole fucking thing is a mystery. Anyway, doesn't matter. Then it just, I was thinking, could I have seen this in a dream before? Could I have seen this in a dream before? I mean, we fucking, when we go to dream, we go to sleep, we have a bazillion dreams. Just we remember a few of them. Sometimes we remember none. But we have a lot of dreams. We're in the astral realm, out and about, doing our thing. And could it have been possible? that I've just simply seen this exact same moment in a dream before. But I didn't, I obviously didn't remember it, but I remembered it when it was happening. I was like, yeah, I've seen the future. I've, 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 it felt like it. I've been here before. And ever since that moment, 
I've been having really fucking weird things. Like yesterday, uh, I was working, you know, in, in the part-time job, which tomorrow is my last day. And my friend James, who you guys have seen in these videos, um, I know he's around. He's, he works in, in the place right next to me, pizza place. And I'm working, you know, I'm working. And then this weird thing happened. I have a thought of James, right? And I look up and two seconds before, I was like, I think James is gonna walk in. I swear to God, like, this is really fucking weird. In my mind, I'm like, I think James is gonna walk in. And two seconds later, James walks through the door and I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm mind fucked. I'm left there like mind fucked because this isn't like, there's no conscious thinking, nothing. It's just, it's all happening. Like I look up, I had, a, I have a thing, a thought of James and two seconds later, he's walking in and I, and I, and I, I just had a feeling he's going to walk through the door. Fucking weird, man. Weird, weird, weird shit. I'm mind fucked. I'm really mind fucked. So anyway, back to the deja vu, right? Back to the, to the deja vu thing. There, you can explain it in so many ways, but for me right now, at this point of my understanding, my limited understanding of what the fuck's going on, this could very well be, I think the possibility of deja vu simply being something that you have seen in a dream before, and so you're seeing your, your, your future in a dream. This is a common thing. I mean, like, it's good psychics who are like, Real, the, the legit ones, there's a lot of quacky fake ones out there, but the legit ones, the ones that are legit, the ones that are really connected and they can channel like angels and, and spirits and stuff, this is a common thing for them. This is a no brainer that they can see into the future. It's just when it happens to you, uh, you know, you start to think about it. And I think maybe there's, maybe that's deja vu. Deja vu is just you, you have seen this maybe maybe five years, six years ago in a dream sometime. Maybe you've seen like, seriously, it might be so long ago that you've seen this moment happen in a dream. And now you recognize, I've seen this before. I've been here before, right? There's a lot of different explanations. There's an explanation that, you know, you've lived this life before and you're living it again and it's on a loop or something. Yeah, lots of explanation, of course. It's fun, it's fun. This is why mystery is fun because you can get to fuck around with it and pretend all kinds of Things are happening and all kinds of theories about it. But to, to my trivial mind, this kind of makes sense to my trivial mind that deja vus are something you see in a dream and then it happens to you. And in, in a way, you know how there's an awakening process where you, you wake up from the dream, you realize, holy shit, hold on, I'm in a dream. <laughs> this is not real. It's an illusion. Um... Um, this is not who I really am. I'm greater, far greater than my physical body, than my personality. All of that. You start to see 11-11, blah, blah. And I think one of the things, I feel like this whole fucking thing is programmed. I'm starting to think free will is a fucking illusion by the programmer just for fun. Just to make you feel like you're doing something. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over the place with that theory. But there seems to be clearly a lot of things are determined. That's just like, that seems to be like the fact that you're birth and you grow up and like li you literally have no control the first like 14 years of your life, you know? So in many ways, and those are the years that shape a lot of your habits and stuff. In many ways, you're a determined being, you know, maybe there is some element of free will there. I just don't know how much it is there. Anyway, so part of the awakening process for a, for a consciousness is when these things start to happen to you. So it's almost like the deja vus are happening to you to remind you of who you are. Think of this like a game and you, it's a game of remembering. You're just trying to remember who you are. That's all it is. It's a game of remembering. And one of the things that start to happen to a conscious being that starts to remember is deja vus. Now deja vus happen to a lot of people, conscious and unconscious, awake and asleep. Doesn't matter. It happens to all people. And maybe that's the fun of it. That's the, the programmer's way of, of, of fucking around with the children of the programmer, God, the children of God, right? I think that's how the programmer programmed the thing. And in the awakening process, you know, there's like an awakening process. This is like a, think of you like a character and each character has a, a plot line. But just like the hero's journey, 
just like movies, all movies you see, they follow a similar plot, just different characters, different setting, different everything. It's a similar plot, right? Hero goes on a journey, has problems, has to slay the dragons, has to conquer fears, go into the abyss, the uncertainty, uh, and then triumph above it and, you know, come back again, come back home. So there's still a plot line to follow, but it's just different characters, different settings, different everything. What if for each conscious soul, right? We're all consciousness. For each consciousness, stream of consciousness, there's like a plot line that it follows. Sleep, 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 suddenly start waking up, start seeing synchronicity, uh, numbers, synchronicities, etc. Deja vus, this, 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 to remind you of who you are. And that, that's sort of the plot line. And deja vus are part of it. Just to make you realize, hey, look, this is a weird fucking place you live in. Time is not what you think it is. Uh, and past, present, and future are all happening at once. And many of your future events are written, you know, and this is just for you to remember what you're doing here and who you really are and to surrender to the programmer because the programmer has programmed you for success. You know, the program has programmed you to remember your connection to the programmer. Anyway. Uh, that's kind of my wacky thoughts on deja vus. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. <laughs> God bless you all. I love every single one of you guys. But don't forget to subscribe. Or, let me, let me, let me, let me look into the future here. Alright, I see you sleeping with the fishes if you don't subscribe. I see it clearly right here in my third eye. So subscribe.